so hey there everyone back again with another video and in this video we are gonna learn something more in flutter basically what we are gonna do is we are gonna learn about how we can create a splash screen okay so basically i want to thank the uh, uh, my viewer his name is van is van chi or is having key i i'm sorry if i misspelled your name okay you can see this is the name i don't know how we can pronunciate it okay and i'm sorry if i am not able to pronunciate it right but um, the topic is given by this person only okay to make a splash screen okay so in this video i'm gonna show you how we can create a splash screen like we create a splash screen in java uh, in android studio and it, i'm sure this is will be the easiest way you know to create the um, splash screen okay so guys without wasting your time let's just dive right into our code so we will have to import wow import we have to import two things firstly we will the material dot dart package and another will be the dart dot async okay yeah these two packages are very necessary for the uh, what you can splash screen okay basically dart dot async package is the main thing uh, what we need to create okay use okay because it has something that we will uh, just learn in few seconds okay so we will firstly create a stateless widget its name will be my app my app okay and after that this container will be changed by the material dot material app okay and it will have a title title will be a uh, splash splash screen okay and after this splash screen what we'll do we will have a debug checked show banner as false because we don't want the right most corner uh, we don't want the banner at the right most corner so now after that what we'll do we will do is that uh, what we can do um what we can do yeah firstly we can set the theme okay uh theme theme data okay theme data come on d a t a yeah data and in that we will have a primary color so let the primary color be colors dot red and uh, after this theme the theme we will set a home and home will be a home okay and after this home what we will do we will create a stateful widget and its name will be home okay home yeah so it is done okay now what we will do we will do is that we will have a container okay and uh, this container we will just remove this container and we will set the scaffold come on scaffold and in that scaffold we will set a body and body will have uh, a center widget okay do we should use a center widget body will have a column or it should use the center widget uh, i am not pretty much sure about that what should we use um, should we use the center widget or should we use the uh, come on because i want everything to be in the center so let us have a column widget no we will set the center widget okay and we will have a child and this child will be column column okay and it will have a children widget okay now firstly what we will do is that we will set a padding okay and padding will be of somewhat uh, let me set is for 200.0 okay no sorry firstly we will have a edge insect come on yeah edge insect from all yeah and let it be 100.0 okay and after that we will set a text and this text will be what we will have we will have a welcome screen is this okay and after we will do we will have a circular 
progress indicator okay this is done so uh, what this will do is that it will have a uh, what you can say it will have a circular indicator and after this circular indicator what we will do we will have a um, what is there we will uh, we will have to go to a new page okay so for going to the new page what we will have to do we will have to create a new page okay so we can use the timer okay so how we can use the timer we can just include the init state okay you can see that this has a override method and it has super dot init state and now what will have we it will have a timer okay timer 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 yeah it has a timer okay and it will ask for a duration duration d is capital okay and duration will have a second because we want uh, uh, the thing to be done in only five seconds okay so we are giving five so you can give anything here like four three two one you can even give it in minutes okay so it has every uh, every option so you can see that it has every day millisecond day hour millisecond microsecond minutes okay so after this we will set a comma and we will give a call back okay call back will do is that it will have a navigator dot off and after that it will have dot push okay and this will take us to a new page okay it will take us to new page and this page we have to create so this page will be uh, class and uh, it will have a new page okay new page and it will extend what it will extend it will extend what it will extend the material page root okay it will extend the material page root and it will ask for null and after that what we will do we will create the constructor of this page okay and in that we will ask for super and super will have a build uh, builder okay and builder will give the build context and it will have a context okay and after this build context what we will return is we will return the scaffold and the scaffold and in the scaffold what we will have we will have a app bar so app bar and in that app bar what we will have firstly we will have a title the title will be a text and let me give it a text as splash screen okay and uh, after that we will give a comma and the center title let the center title be true okay and after that we will set a body and body will have uh, something as center and center will have a child and it will be a text okay so let the text will be welcome to to main screen okay so this is done okay so it's done one thing you will notice that when we go to this page and when we click on the back screen it take us to a new page so i am asking you guys to figure out how we can go how we can just disable the back click on this page so that we don't go back to the this page okay you can know we can, you can see that this is a one page and this is another page okay so we don't want um, we just want to go from this to this page and we don't want to go from this page to this page okay so i am giving you a task guys to do that you don't go back from this page to this page because if we mm, uh, click the back screen it will take us to a new page okay so let us just run our app and see what the output comes okay so let's see guys one second yeah it's in, uh, initializing the gradle and now it will just resolve all the dependencies and uh, other features so that uh, the apk is built and it will build the gradle and the what you can say it will the apk and then install the apk in my phone so just wait for few second guys and this all will be done okay and if you like the video guys just give it a thumbs up share with your friends and subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed to it yet okay share with to your friend who have a keen interest in learning languages and programming android apps okay so guys just um, share this and you can visit our facebook page the code cave page 
and the and everything that I do here I just post it here, there okay and I, I am asking you guys to just play with this code and make your own version of the code so that we can also see how much you have learned okay and just make your own version just put your screenshot of the APK of the program in our um, uh, Facebook page so that we can also tell you how you can do it in much better way okay so guys that's um, let me just see the output of our project okay or our program okay so the APK has been built and you can see this is the white screen okay come on so it will show us the yeah if the ape is sinking okay so you can see the the five four three two one come on yeah so you can see that we just um, came from one screen to another screen this is what we do okay so you can see that there is a go back option at the right most corner I am giving you a work guys so that you may remove this uh, go back arrow disable this arrow or do anything with this okay this is a homework for you guys so that you may also know how we can learn it okay so that's all for today guys I hope you enjoyed the video so if you like the video give it a thumbs up share with your friend and subscribe to my channel so thank you have a nice day